In this video, I'm going to show you how to sort an array from least to greatest using merge sort. So the first step is to put the indexes onto the array like this. We also put the start and the end onto the array, and then we calculate the mid. So the mid is s plus e divided by 2, and s is at index 0, e is at index 4, 4 divided by 2 gives you 2. So we found mid at index 2. Here is our array. Now we split the array into two parts, and the first part is going to be from start to the mid. So we get 5, 3, 4, and then we calculate the start, the end, and the mid again, and we split it from the start to the mid. So we get 5 and 3. Then we calculate the start, the end, and the mid. We get this, and then we're going to split it into 5. Here, the second group will be 3. The next step is to merge them. So we merge 5 and 3 into 3 and 5, and notice they're in sorted order. The second group in this one is simply going to be 4. And then we merge them together, so we get 3, 4, 5. And don't worry, I'll explain what merge does in a second. And now lastly, the second group is going to be 1, 2. And then you split it into 1, and then 2. You merge it, and you still get 1, 2. And then finally, you merge all of these numbers together, and you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. At this point, merge sort is complete, and let's take a look at the merge part. So let me explain it going back to this part. Now, the first step is to put two lines, the first line here and the second line here, and we have i and j at the beginning of these lines. Since we merge five numbers, we need to create a temporary array of size 5. But the official formula is e minus s plus 1, so e is currently at index 4, s is currently at index 0, so 4 minus 0 plus 1 will give you 5. Then we also put k at the beginning of the temporary array. And let's pretend this is a game. We ask i and j, which one of you has the smaller number? So i has 3, j has 1, right? So of course j has the smaller number, and we put 1 at the beginning of the temporary array. We move j up, we move k up, and then we repeat this process. Hey, i and j, which one of you have the smaller number? j has a smaller number. So we put 2 into the array, we move j up, we move k up. Now, once j goes outside of its line, we simply copy whatever i has into this array. So i has 3, we copy it into the temporary array, we move i up, we move k up, we copy 4 into the array, we move i up, we move k up, and we copy 5, we move i up, and we move k up. Once this array fills up, the last step is simply just copy this back into our original array, and now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, I want you to try merging 5 and 3 together, and notice here, the temporary array will be of size 2, and after you merge them, you get 3 and 5. And then try to merge 3, 5, and 4 together, and you'll get 3, 4, 5. Now, let's take a look at the Python code. Here is the merge sort function, and this is the merge function. Here is the test case. For the best average and worst cases, they're all n log n. And how is it n log n? Well, that's going to be discussed in a different video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys found it helpful, don't forget to subscribe and share. In the next one, we'll talk about quicksort.